Hello and welcome back. If you're new, my name is Liv and today I wanted to make a spring inspired pasta salad. There's another salad on the channel that's actually done really well. It's like one of the more higher performing videos that we've, we've done here and I really want to make things that you guys would love to see. So please drop me a comment or uh, message me on Instagram. I love hearing from anyone who's made anything. It means so much. You don't understand. It's like my dream come true. So yeah, more, more salads, more pastas, whatever you'd like to see, just let me know. At the moment we're kind of in the middle of September. So we're in Melbourne, Australia and the spring kind of season window for produce is between September and November. So some things that we have in season at the moment are asparagus, uh, green beans, spring onions, parsley, mint. They were sort of the flavors I was thinking about when I was dreaming up this salad in my head. But basically we want to make a pasta salad that can stand on its own, but it's also great as an accompaniment to other things. So this would be great to bring to a barbecue, it'd be great, you know, to have alongside meat uh, as well, if that's what you're into. But this pasta salad is super springy, zesty, fresh, definitely not boring. We're going to be adding some um, Bulgarian sheep's cheese to this. So it's kind of like a more delicate version of feta. And that's just going to add to this whole springy vibe that we've got going on. So if you would like to see how we're going to make it, just so you are. Start by topping and tailing your beans. The quantities will be listed down below in the description. Next to a large pot, add some boiling water followed by some sea salt. Now we're going to take the ends of our asparagus and set those aside. Heat up a non-stick fry pan to medium. Crush our walnuts and add them to the fry pan. Taste our pasta water for saltiness. And then give the walnuts a rough chop. Next, we're going to slice up our spring onions. So the very white parts we're going to uh, fry off with our beans and the lighter green parts we're going to set aside. Add the darker parts to a bowl, followed by three finger pinch of salt, followed by some black pepper and a good squeeze of lemon juice. Give it all a mix. We're also going to add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Wipe out our fry pan with a paper towel before adding about a tablespoon of olive oil followed by our spring onions. Give them a couple of minutes to get a little bit golden brown before adding in our beans. With our fry pan on high, we're gonna add a good pinch of salt. Give it all a mix before adding in our pasta to our boiling water. Take a little bit of the pasta water and add it to the beans. So this is gonna help them steam a little bit. So they're still on high heat. We're gonna keep a lid off, let it all evaporate. Add some freshly cracked pepper and let that water disappear. Remove the beans from the fry pan when they're still really vibrant green and crunchy. Drop your asparagus into the pasta water to blanch for about a minute to two minutes. And in the meantime, we'll make our dressing. So add two teaspoons of seeded mustard to a bowl, followed by a good squeeze of lemon, a good pinch of salt, about a tablespoon of good extra virgin olive oil, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and give this all a mix. Remove the asparagus from the pasta water and lay flat on a board or a bench to cool down. Now we're gonna taste our pasta for doneness before draining and adding to a bowl. Go in with your pickled spring onions, followed by the green beans. Give everything a mix. Cut the asparagus on a slight bias before adding in your dressing. Next, add your Bulgarian sheep's cheese, followed by the toasted walnuts. Take a good handful of flat leaf parsley as well as mint, and we're gonna give that a wash. 
pat it dry, remove the big stems, and then we're gonna give that a very rough chop. Add the herbs to the pasta salad, and a good sprinkling of red chili flakes. After giving everything a good mix, plate up this mixture nice and high, add some more sheep's cheese to the top, as well as some more walnuts, a few more chili flakes, and then you're good to go. All right, time to try our pasta salad. So we get some pasta, some cheese, some asparagus. Mmm. It's very fresh, very bright, zingy, but it's not super, super acidic. You've got kind of that savory flavor from the, the whole grain mustard that we put in. A little bit of a kick from the cracked pepper and also the chili flake and then you've got you know the really fresh parsley and the mint that's really really nice and i can't say i've had a lot of pasta salads that had a lot of flavor that perhaps had asparagus in them sometimes asparagus can be like really overcooked and get a bit flavorless but by blanching it it's still really crunchy it's like super bright green and fresh it's just like kind of a celebration of what's already going on there rather than like trying to make it something that it's not thank you so much for watching if you made this please do let me know message me on instagram or comment on this video it might seem kind of simple but it's like the, the flavors are really complex but it's like super easy to make quite affordable it's a really good one so please if you do make it and you like it give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much have a great day